Episode 4. What does hygiene in foods and food processing signify? A. Cleanliness and freedom from infectious diseases. B. Attractiveness in appearance, odor, and flavor. C. Confidence in consumers' purchase. D. All of the above. What does hygiene in foods and food processing signify? D. All of the above. What is the major cause of spoilage of fish flesh? A. Contamination with pathogenic bacteria. B. Exposure to direct sunlight. C. Freezing at low temperatures. D. Lack of proper packaging. What is the major cause of spoilage of fish flesh? A. Contamination with pathogenic bacteria. What does the term clean mean in the context of fish handling? A. Absence of visible dirt or unwanted matter. B. Use of detergent and disinfectant. C. Removal of all microbes from the surface. D. Washing with soapy water. What does the term clean mean in the context of fish handling? A. Absence of visible dirt or unwanted matter. What is the purpose of sanitation or disinfection in fish processing? A. Removal of visible dirt and grease. B. Elimination of all or microorganisms. D. Reduction of the number of living microorganisms to a safe level. D. Prevention of bacterial contamination. What is the purpose of sanitation or disinfection in fish processing? C. Reduction of the number of living microorganisms to a safe level. Which of the following properties is not required for an ideal detergent used in cleaning fish? A. Germicidal action. B. Non-corrosive. C. Good rinsing property. D. Inability to dissolve food solids. Which of the following properties is not required for an ideal detergent used in cleaning fish? D. Inability to dissolve food solids. How does increasing the temperature affect the efficiency of cleaning? A. Increases the solubility of soluble materials. B. Decreases the viscosity of the cleaner. C. Enhances chemical reaction rate. D. All of the above. How does increasing the temperature affect the efficiency of cleaning? D. All of the above. It increases the solubility of soluble materials, it decreases the viscosity of the cleaner, and it enhances chemical reaction rate. What should be done before applying a disinfectant? A. Thorough cleaning. B. Drying the surface. C. Increasing the temperature. D. Removing visible dirt and grease. What should be done before applying a disinfectant? A. Thorough cleaning. What properties should a good sanitizer or disinfectant possess? A. Effective germicide. B. Low toxicity. C. Deodorizing capability. D. All of the above. What properties should a good sanitizer or disinfectant possess? D. All of the above. What is the most important practice for preventing contamination in food? A. Using appropriate deodorants. B. Regular hand washing. C. Wearing clean uniforms. D. Keeping nails clean and trimmed. What is the most important practice for preventing contamination in food? B. Regular hand washing. Why should cut fish be processed or chilled immediately? A. To prevent physical or mechanical damage. B. To enhance the flavor and odor. C. To reduce the risk of bacterial contamination. D. To improve the appearance of the fish. Why should cut fish be processed or chilled immediately? C. To reduce the risk of bacterial contamination. What is the term used for fish with scales, viscera, fins, head, 
and tail removed. A. Drawn fish. B. Dressed fish. C. Steaks. D. Fillets. What is the term used for fish with scales, viscera, fins, head, and tail removed? B. Dressed fish. What are fillets? A. Cross section slices of a large dressed fish. B. Meaty sides of the fish removed from the backbone and ribs. C. Small elongated chunks cut from the fillet. D. Fish with scales, viscera, fins, head, and tail removed. What are fillets? B. Meaty sides of the fish removed from the backbone and ribs. Why is the preparation of fish fillets a hygienic process? A. It involves thorough cleaning and disinfection. B. It reduces the risk of bacterial contamination. C. It ensures the fish remains fresh for a longer time. D. All of the above. Why is the preparation of fish fillets a hygienic process? D. All of the above. What is the suitable raw material for filling? A. Fish with visible dirt or grease. B. Fish that has been frozen for a long time. C. Fish that have just passed the rigor condition. D. Fish stored at room temperature. What is the suitable raw material for filleting? C. Fish that have just passed the rigor condition. What is the tendency of fillets to split into fissures cold? A. Gaping. B. Contamination. C. Spoilage. D. Rancidity. What is the tendency of fillets to split into fissures cold? A. Gaping. What are some commonly used chemical disinfectants in the food industry? A. Chlorine and chlorine compounds. B. Iodophores. C. Quaternary ammonium compounds. D. All of the above. What are some commonly used chemical disinfectants in the food industry? D. All of the above. How should all equipment, tools, floors and premises be kept in a fish plant a dry and dust free be sprayed with water regularly c covered with plastic sheets d cleaned with soap and water how should all equipment tools floors and premises be kept in a fish plant d cleaned with soap and water when should hands be washed regularly while handling fish? A. After visiting the toilet. B. After handling raw fish. C. After handling garbage or soiled materials. D. All of the above. When should hands be washed regularly while handling fish? D. All of the above. What must be available to clean fish? Personnel and equipment. A. Chlorinated water. B. Hot water. C. Vinegar solution. D. Soap and towels. What must be available to clean fish, personnel, and equipment? A. Chlorinated water. Why should fish be shielded from direct sunlight? A. To prevent physical damage. B. To reduce the risk of contamination. C. To improve the appearance and flavor. D. To prevent spoilage and bacterial growth. Why should fish be shielded from direct sunlight? D. To prevent spoilage and bacterial growth. 
What is the term used for fish that has been eviscerated or had the entrails removed? A. Drawn fish. B. Dressed fish. C. Steaks. D. Fillets. What is the term used for fish that has been eviscerated or had the entrails removed? A. Drawn fish. What are the most common forms of preparing whole or round fish? A. Drawn fish, dressed fish, steaks, fillets. B. Cleaned fish, frozen fish, processed fish. C. Filleted fish, cured fish, marinated fish. D. Grilled fish, fried fish, boiled fish. What are the most common forms of preparing whole or round fish? A. Drawn fish, dressed fish, steaks, and fillets.